This is Drew Spence for the Dynamic Universe and Digital Art Live. We're doing a webinar series about comic creation using a lot of 3D assets. And one of the products we were looking at is Comic Life 3. So this is me beginning to design a page using one of their templates. And what we want to do today is have one of our image float on top of all the other images and be outside of the panels. So I'm creating a fight scene by pulling images in and populating my panels. And I want the last image to sit on top of all of these as a sort of overlay. So I'm filling in the way my comic was sketched out. This last and fourth panel, I want to fill that with something a little bit different. I know I'm going to sit on top of it. So I grab a blurred version of the fight so it can just become a nice background, almost a wash in the background. And then when I grab my final image and pull it in, it's going to sit on top of that area. Now, the trick to bringing an image in and having it not fill one of the panels or become inside one of the containers is I leave my mouse to sit outside of the gutters. The gutter is the space in between the panels. And as long as my mouse is released on the gutter, it knows not to fill the panel with the image. So you can see when I rotate the mouse over the panels, it begins to fill them. But if I can keep the mouse in the gutter, that space in between, it will leave my image floating. And I did take the image, rendered as a PNG, and it was given a white stroke around it. So it basically looks like it's almost uh, bordering myself. And it has a nice effect when it sits. And the blurred wash behind it lets it pop out and stand up on top. And then once I place that image in, you've got a nice interesting page layout other than just straight panels. This is Drew Spence with Digital Art Live. This is the part four of our series. Comic Creation, a foundational course by Drew Spence from the Dynamic Universe and Digital Art Live is found inside the Daz store and can be purchased.